the survival guy here with kind of an introduction, first glance video, one of my new favorite toys. Now usually, um, to become one of my favorite toys, it's got to get uh, well vetted, shoot a whole lot of rounds through it. I gotta see what it can do. But this, I must admit, I was a little partial to to begin with. It is a uh, Ruger Single 6, 22LR, no magnum cylinder. It's one of the older models, it's got the three screws, in fact, um, the serial number is actually in the 20,000, so I got to imagine that uh, it's got to be one of the first year productions. Uh, it's got a good deal of character to it, it's got some holster wear, you know, everywhere you'd expect holster wear to be. A little bit of, uh, let's see if I can get closer without moving the table too much. Uh, a little bit of surface rust right on the barrel. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. No real pitting. The barrel was nice and clean. Like you'd expect uh, Ruger to be. Functions flawlessly. <coughs> and also a little 22. Accurate as all heck. Um, how does this work again? I'm not usually partial to um, revolvers. In fact, I'm usually anti-revolver. You, <laughs> you can't get me to shoot a revolver. But um, I shot one of my buddies, a little uh, 22 Rugers, and um, I just loved it. Popping cigarette butts, you know, fun little heavy. It's <laughs> pretty heavy for. Uh, 22, but that's what you get with Ruger. That's why they last so long, they're all heavy steel. <clears throat> got this from a uh, buddy actually, works in a pawn shop. They got a really good deal on this gun, and uh, he sent me a picture. He knew I was looking for one of these for a couple of years, just didn't find the one I liked. Um, Pictures, you know, as much as you expect from a text. They didn't really show the condition. Some of you might be like, oh, you know, I got this gun and it's got all this wear to it. The finish is, you know, 80% or whatever, but it is just a nice, nice firearm. It's got a lot of character to it. That's, uh, now of course, it, uh, let me find a 22 here. <clears throat> Loads and functions basically like the uh, old style Colt, uh, Colt firearms. You got your loading gate here. Do kind of this half cock deal so you can spin the cylinder. Extractor here on this side, a rejector. Pushes the, uh, push that down. That pushes out the spent casings, like such. That's the thing, you gotta make sure they're seated properly all the way down. <laughs> if they're not seated, <clears throat> The cylinder won't turn, those 22s will bind up in there. And uh, shot a couple hundred rounds through it one day, and only time yet, I've really taken it out to shoot. Um, anyone who says a revolver doesn't jam either has never shot a 22 revolver or just never shot it enough. Because <laughs> this thing was binding up pretty good. And could be just the 22s are notoriously greasy, but <clears throat> function just fine. Pull the trigger and shoot. After about 150 rounds or so, you go pull the hammer back. And uh, it was like the spent cartridges or whatever were, maybe it was even the full ones, weren't seated all the way. And they were popping out from the cylinder just a bit, is what I suspect. You'd go to pull that hammer back, and it was. You really couldn't do it with your thumb. Kind of had to like shake it a bit and go again. And you know, 
22s are greasy and get a jam. So didn't expect it to run like an AK, but uh, yeah, it's just got your standard. If I can do this, notch and post, unadjustable cowboy sights. This thing is just a real nice gun. I can't wait to bring it out and uh, really put it through its tests, through its paces. It's been going with me on hikes. I figured this would be uh, enough to dispatch any rattlesnakes I see. Maybe uh, <laughs> dissuade some coyotes. Though I'll probably still carry my 45 or Glock just in case. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, good little gun. Don't quite have that done yet, and of course, it's always got to be unloaded when you do stupid shit like this. Double check that. You have to be safe. Oh yeah, one last piece. Came with this holster, this wasn't even in the picture, and I went to a gun show about a week before this arrived to my FFL, and I was like, oh, you know, I should get a holster for this bad boy. Can't have a cowboy style gun without a cowboy style holster. I opened the box and there this was. And it's. <laughs> that revolver has been sitting in this holster probably since. <laughs> since the 50s. I don't know when this one was actually produced, but. <clears throat> it's not a Ruger holster, at least I doubt it. It says redhead on the little snaps there. But, um really nice little holster and I was extremely pleased to get that with the gun. This makes for a real nice setup when you're hiking. Yeah. So that's it. Hopefully I'll get some uh, range videos of this guy. You know, expect uh, what you'd expect from it. Good little plinker, good accuracy, solid little 22.